Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Pandas Global. This is the 38th video in this Google Ads course. And in this video, we are going to tell you about how to set and track conversion actions in Google Ads. Well guys, if you want to track any specific action in Google Ads, then you have to set a conversion tracking. By setting conversions in Google Ads, you can specifically track any kind of action you want to track in Google Ads. That's why this step and this particular is video is very important because this will help you to track the conversions which you want to track specifically. So let's get into the video without any further ado. So guys, we have logged in into our Google Ads account. Now we are going to tell you that how you can set conversions in order to track every conversion, every particular conversion specifically. Although we have already told you that how you can create conversions in the previous video, how you can set up codes in your website. But this video is very important because this video will tell you how you can track each and every conversion according to your preference, according to your business model. Okay, first we have to log in into our Google Ads account and side by side we have to open our Google Tag Manager because we are showing this video, we are making this video with the help of Google Tag Manager, which means we are adding the conversion tracking with the help of Google Tag Manager. And why we are using it? Because this is the product of Google. And why we are using Google Tag Manager? Because that is the product of Google. And why we are using Google Tag Manager? Because that is also a product of Google and it is easy to add conversion or any kind of tracking with the help of Google Tag Manager instead of adding specific code for every purpose in the website. Okay, so let's open Google Tag Manager as well. Also make sure that the website which you are going to track is added in your Google Tag Manager as well. Okay. Google Tag Manager. In the previous video, we have already told you that how you can add Google Tag Manager in your website. So the Google Tag Manager is open now. Now let's go to Google Ads again. And here are, here's the tools and settings option. Click on this, then click in the measurement menu. You have to choose this conversions option. Once you get here, you have to click on this new conversion action. Although uh, you can see here, we have added some uh, conversions already, but in order to create a new one, you have to click on this blue button that says new conversion action. Now we have four options. The first one is website, app, phone calls, and then you can import the conversion data as well. So in the previous video, we have already told you how to use this. Now we are going to tell you the website because majority of websites and individuals want to track their website and their landing pages. So in that case, website would be the perfect option. So click on this. Now you have to enter your domain here. So let's copy this domain which we have already added in our google tag manager okay copy and then paste here and then hit this scan button so that website can be scanned by google ads once the scan is done scroll a little bit down here is the option to create the conversions automatically but we are going with the manual option okay so scroll a little bit down more and here's the manual option okay click on this add a conversion action manually and here we have to add the conversions so the first option is goal and action optimization so here is the option which you have to choose according to your preference like which kind of uh, conversion you have in your uh, website purchase add to cart being checkout, subscribe, lead categories. Uh, in lead categories, we have contact, submit lead form, book appointment, sign up. So there are many options you can choose according to your preference, okay? Many uh, businesses use this purchase conversion and if you add purchase conversion, you have to add the URL of your thank you page as well so that Google can track that if the thank you page is triggered, which means the conversion or the uh, purchase has been done. So that's how the thing works. But right now we have added our dummy site and we want just a page view. Okay. So scroll a little bit down and here is the page view conversion. Click on this and what the name you want to save for this conversion. So let's add this as page view. Okay. Then what value you want to give to your conversion. So if let's say if you are se uh, selling a product uh, and the cost of that product is $10. So you can use this option, use the same value for each conversion and you can add a value for that particular product or for that particular conversion and that will be $10, okay? And let's say, uh, for example, you have multiple products. There's $10 products, there's $20 products or there are some of the $30 products as well. So you can use this option. This is use different value for each conversion. In this case, you will be able to add different kind of conversions for different kind of 
products i hope you got the point okay but right now we want just page views and there is no any uh, kind of uh, particular value for that uh, conversion so we are using this option don't use value for this conversion action although it is not recommended but we want page views right okay then I scroll a little bit down here is the count option so what type of uh, count you want which means if you I have choose a uh, page views right so if the user land uh, in my particular website or in my particular landing page so I want him what is count well for example let's say a user landed on my website five times in a day okay so if I want to track or count him every time then I have to use this option or if I want to choose or if I want to count him only once so I have to use this option so I want to count him only once because if the user wants because if the user lands on my particular website 10 times a day, so I can't count them every time, right? So I want to click on this option. Everything is set up now. Now click on done. Now hit save and continue. Now here's the options. We have three options set up with a Google tag, email instructions to your webmaster or use Google Tag Manager. So as I've already told you, we are going to use Google Tag Manager because we have already added Google Tag Manager in our website and it is pretty easy and pretty handy to use Google Tag Manager in order to track everything, okay? You just have to put one code in your website and everything can be tracked with that particular one code only. So it is pretty handy and easy to use Google Tag Manager. That's why I'm recommending Google Tag Manager to use in your website okay now we are using google tag manager just scroll a little bit down here is the conversion id and this page view code okay we just have to copy these two things let's go to our google tag manager click on the website now click on tags so as you can see here we have already uh, created two three tags but i want to create new one so click on this new now click on tag configuration click just you have to click here as you can see once you click here you have to choose the tag type so google ads conversion tracking click on this stay here now we have to add conversion id first go back to your google ads account and here is the conversion id select it copy go to your google tag manager and paste it here then we have to add conversion label go back to your google ads here's the conversion label which is the page view right select this one copy go to tag manager and paste here okay now it is set up now scroll a little bit down and click on triggering once you click on triggering we have two three more options but i want to track everything all of my pages so i want to click on or i have to click on all pages but if you have any kind of other triggering option, like you want to track only one particular page you want or any one particular URL, then you have to select uh, the other option. But right now we are going with all pages. Click on this so that the tag can fire on all the pages, right? And here you have to add the name of your uh, tag, right? So let's say page view tag, okay? Then hit the save button and it has been saved. Now click on submit and then publish. Click on skip. As you can see, the tag has been published. Now go back to your Google Ads account, crawl here and click on done. So as you can see, here is my conversion, which I have added. Okay. Now it is showing that the status is showing unverified. So I have to verify it just by clicking on this troubleshoot button. Click on this, click continue. Now I have to add it my particular website, which I have added. Okay. Once again, so that this is the website so that Google tag manager or Google tag assistant can verify everything. Okay. Now click connect. Now tag manager is trying everything and connecting with my website as you can see here. So as you can see, the conversion is verified now, but it is saying no conversions right now, which means we don't have any conversions in our account right now. But when we start getting data, we'll see some numbers here like one, two, three or so on and so forth. So I hope you understand how to create conversions and how to track those conversions in your Google Ads account. I hope you like the video. If you do, please hit that subscribe and like button. And if you have any comment or query, please comment down below. I'll try to answer that question. We'll meet you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.